So again, I just want to say congratulations and welcome everyone. You know, we we live in an amazing time right now. It's a it might be a tough time for many uh, with the pandemic that's happening at the time that we're recording this particular presentation. Um, but you know, adversity and this certain situation is is nothing short of adversity. But adversity also breeds opportunity. Adversity breeds creative thinking. I've been blown away by the things that people have come up with during this time. Uh, and you know, I like the way our CEO says it. He says that basically what's happened is the, the reset button has been hit. There was a way that things were going. Uh, many people were locked out of opportunity. And now on a global basis, the reset button has been hit. And for many people who are creative and who can think out of the box and who can see a new future, a new normal is being created, new opportunities are being created and I'm fascinated by the people who are doing that. And I hopefully uh, you who are joining us today are among those people. So let's go ahead and get down to business. I've got a presentation that I wanna share with you about one of those revolutionary opportunities. How about an entirely new approach to the rideshare industry? That is what we're bringing here today with Vibe Rides where you can choose your vibe. Now we do wanna start out with our disclaimer our disclaimer comes from the fact that as an organization, we operate with something called the IT factor, IT, which stands for integrity and transparency. So we don't want anyone to walk away from this presentation uh, thinking that there's a guarantee of income uh, just by participating. It's not a job. It's not a salary position. Uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity where you're going to make what you create right? You're going to get out what you put in. And so everyone's going to make something different. Definitely go back and read this disclaimer for yourself, but that's essentially what it says. Now, you heard me talking just a minute ago about the fact that the world is different, right? And I'm not just talking about the last 60 days. I'm talking about the last decade, the last two decades. Things have totally changed. You know, I've watched the, the paradigm of how you succeed and how you make money totally changed during my own lifetime, right? At the beginning, you know, as I was graduating school, it was all about go out and get a good job and people were getting jobs. And, and the paradigm was you get this job and you stay there for 30 years and you retire and then you collect a pension or a retirement check for the rest of your life. And that's enough to live on. And I'm, I'm part of that generation that saw that just poof and disappear. Now the new normal is people go through five career changes. They start out doing one thing and then they have to pivot and do another thing. You know, it used to be, oh, you can't be, you know, having all these different jobs. Now you can't fit a resume on one page because people are, are trying different things and moving from company to company and, and, and trying to get the right value for themselves as an, as an employee as, or as a person who can contribute. And that's one of the things that people are battling with. They're undervalued uh, because of companies you know, getting smarter and technology and all that kind of stuff. You're, they're, they're trying to do more with fewer people. So what does that result in? The people that are, are still in those companies are overworked and they are often underpaid versus the, the value that they're delivering to the company. And another thing that's happening in our, in our lifetime is we're seeing people get aged out. People that are super qualified for jobs that can't get it because of their age, right? Companies are looking for younger and younger people to perform. And so this is the situation that many people have contended with, and it's given birth to a whole new style of working called the gig economy, right? Maybe you remember hearing that word gig, like associated with music. If you were in a band, say, okay, we got a gig tonight over here. We got a gig tonight over there. And gig is basically just, you know, a job. You're for hire. And now there's this entire economy where this is the way people work, right? And it, it's allowing people to work smarter. It's allowing people to have more control. It's allowing people to get more done. Apps and technology are a big part of the gig economy. And there's new opportunities every day. For, you know, let's, let's go through some of them. Obviously, the rideshare business is a gig economy. People work when they want to work, um, and they're using apps. The rideshare companies, they use apps to let drivers know when riders need a ride and connect those folks, right? And so, you know, what else we have? Food delivery is part of the gig, gig economy. You've got companies where you go on, you got the menus for lots of different restaurants. You say, okay, I want this from this restaurant. I need a babysitter. 
for my children, or I need someone to watch my elderly parents, whatever. And then on the other side, you have people like my mother-in-law who will say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm available. I can do that. I'm certified. I'm whatever, blah, blah, blah. And now I connect it. And now she goes and she does the job and she gets paid through the app, et cetera, et cetera. So the gig economy is here. This is new, guys. This is this is the way of the world today. The young folks, they get it. If you're a little bit older, you got to get with it because this is a very cool way of, of creating your own income. But even with that, people are still struggling and, and trying to figure out why is it that they can't get ahead? Have you ever asked yourself that? You know, I'm a hard worker. I'm a good person. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm hustling. But why is it that I can't seem to get ahead on this money curve thing? Well, it's because most people don't understand a powerful concept that we learned a long time ago called the cash flow quadrant. Now, we didn't make it up. Robert Kiyosaki, we have to give him credit for making this thing up. But it is absolutely powerful. And we're going to first, before we get into, you know, how you can rock with Vibe Rides, we're going to take a minute and teach you about this cash flow quadrant. And, and frankly, even if you decide not to participate, hopefully this lesson here is worth all the is worth the time that you spent with us today. OK, so the cash flow quadrant says that there are four quadrants, of course, in life. You have the employee quadrant. That's the upper left quadrant. That's where you have a job. You have the uh, self-employed quadrant right underneath that bottom left. That's where you work for yourself. And now you technically you own your job. OK, uh, and that's what many people like doctors and dentists and, uh, you know, professionals who now they have their own business. They work. They have uh, they provide a service, but what they found is that they went from having a job to now owning a job. Okay, um, now the the hot quadrant is the is the right side. The hot side of this equation is the right side. Upper right, you have the B quadrant. That's where you own a system, where you have a business. And one thing I want you to write down, and I really hope that you are taking notes, because guess what? Note takers are money makers. All right. So you never want to trust your fortune to your memory because you just might forget the thing that will help you to propel yourself to your next level. So note takers or money makers, I hope you're writing this down. And this is what I want you to write down right now. Good businesses are people dependent. Great businesses are systems dependent. So we're going to talk about how you can have a systematized business and be in the B quadrant. And the ultimate quadrant is the I quadrant, the investor quadrant. Where now money is working for you instead of just people working for you. Now you got money working for you. Your money is making you money. And, and that's really what you want to be. So let's talk about taking control. All right. Moving through the quadrants is how you take control of your life, how you take control of your financial well-being. Now, the left side of the cash flow quadrant is all about active effort. Write that in your notes. Active effort. Active effort is where you are working for money. You are trading time for money. And you do that as an employee, right? You trade your time for dollars. You still do it as a self-employed. You trade your time for dollars. Here's how you know that you're trading time for money. If you don't work, if you can't work, how much money do you make? If you can't work or if you're not working, if your money stops, then you are on the left side of the cash flow quadrant, which requires active effort for you to make money. Now, you really want to get to the right side of the cash flow quadrant. That's that's the hot side. That's the right side of the money curve because that side creates income through passive effort. Okay, now you're using leverage. You don't necessarily have to be working to create money. If yeah, and, and we're going to get into this just a little bit, but doesn't that sound even better? On the left side, you got to work for the money. On the beast, on the right side, even if you're not working, money continues to come in. And that's why you want to be on that side. Now, let's talk about where most people are. Most people are in the E quadrant. They are in an employee. There's a boss in that equation. And the boss controls your time and your money. There's not much you can do about it. They've set a rate that they're willing to pay you. They've set a schedule that you need to be there. 
and that is that, okay? Well, some folks have moved from the E quadrant to the S quadrant, and now they're self-employed, but they're still not in control. They thought they were when they started the business, when they became a doctor, when they became a lawyer, when they became a realtor, when they became a uh, consultant. You know, they thought that they were going to be in control. But what they quickly found out is that their customers are now in control. The customers dictate your time. The customers dictate your money. Doesn't mean that you can't make good money, but you have to, you have to work. You have to be there and you, you have to be there when your customers want you to be there, all right? So self-employed, a little bit better than employee, but, and, and by the way, we're not putting jobs down because especially during this time, if you have a job and you're able to maintain that job, that's definitely something to be grateful for, but that's not where you want to park yourself for the rest of your life. And, you know, I like to always encourage people, hey, we're going to show you how to set yourself up for the next cataclysmic event. Because if you've been alive for, let's say about 30 years and you've been paying attention, you've probably realized that about every eight years, eight to 10 years, something crazy happens that is a, is a reset button event. That's a stock market crash, it's a recession or a pandemic or some natural disaster, something happens. And that's when your economic strength that's where your financial freedom is tested. And so you want to, you, you know, maybe this current situation caught you in, you know, in, in the E quadrant or the S quadrant. Well, we're going to show you how to set yourself up for the next one. Because guess what? We'll get through this, but there will be something else, right? So let's talk about the right side of the, of the cash flow quadrant. This is where you want to be. You want to be a business owner because instead of your boss and, and controlling your time and your money, in t instead, of, instead of your customers controlling your time and money, now you control your time and money because you own a business, because you have a system, because you have leverage, because your income is not just dependent on your efforts. You now can leverage the efforts of other people, and now you can have uh, money coming in even when you can't work. And then ultimately, the cash flow that you can create there can help you get into the investor quadrant where money is working for you, and that's the ultimate leverage. So how do you get to the B quadrant? Vibe Rides is going to help you do that, okay? We're going to show you how, for those of you who are already in the rideshare community, we're going to show you how you can do what you already do and, and get into the B quadrant. You don't need it where you don't have a boss, where you don't need a specialized degree, where you don't even need any experience, but you can create a scenario where other people are working and you're getting paid. That's what Vibe Rides is all about. And we're going to show you how you can create leverage. And this has never been done in the rideshare uh, industry before. This is a new concept. As a matter of fact, we, we're renaming the industry. It's been the rideshare industry. We're calling it the drive share industry. And you're going to see why we're doing that uh, in, a, in just a minute. But the time is perfect for this. Why? Because the world understands it. We don't, we're not the first. The trailblazers have already come. Hats off to them. Congratulations to the trailblazers. But now here's what happens. With every industry, a new entity comes along, a new player comes along and takes it to another level, right? Just think about the hotel industry. You had little hotels and inns or and motels or whatever, and then you had the, the mega hotels come up and, you, you know, you got your companies that have come up that have really raised the game and changed the game and the quality of hotels. And then who came along? Airbnb said, you know what? We're going to take it to a whole nother level. And even versus the people who initially participated in Airbnb, the people who are participating in Airbnb now and making different types of properties available have taken that to a new level. So there's always going to be someone who says, hey, let's do it better. And that's who we are. We're the ones who are coming along saying, hey, you know what? Here's a better way. Here's a next level way to do what 98 million people are already consuming and 5.3 million people are already working in as drivers, right? Now, Vibe is a mobility solutions company, all right? So what does that mean? We move not just people, but we move products, 
we move services, right? Anything that needs to get from point A to point B, Vibe is all about that. That's our vibe, okay? And, and like I said, this is a new concept, the next generation of, of drive share, ride share. And let's dig into it real quick here, okay? There's three ways to participate in Vibe. The first way is you can participate as a rider. This means you're a customer. It means that you're the person who needs to get from point A to point B, and you're saying, okay, Vibe, come get me. Download our app, and let's dig into it real quick here, okay? There's three ways to participate in Vibe. The first way is you can participate as a rider. This means you're a customer. It means that you're the person who needs to get from point A to point B, and you're saying, okay, Vibe, come get me. Download our app and start requesting. If you're in one of our six beta test markets, and we're gonna be growing this thing throughout the United States and even other countries aggressively, all right? The second way is you can drive. And I like to call it just drive, right? That's for the people who are currently driving rideshare and that's all they wanna hear about. They don't wanna do anything more. They just wanna drive. We wanna get paid for driving, no problem. We have that here. But then we have this very special, unique opportunity that you've got to stick around and listen to called Overdrive. And that's where we're going to put you in the B quadrant. So pay attention, stick around. We're going to go through Ride and Drive first really quickly. So what's special about riding with Vibe? You get to choose your Vibe. That's why we're hashtag just different. The rider gets to set their preferences, customize their ride. We're going to talk about girl power, which is just an incredible concept that we've come up with and participate in our rider rewards programs. And so you can see we have a very cool app where the rider can start to set what it is they want. They can say, oh, or they want to talk today. Sometimes you just don't feel like talking. Okay, so they can set it up. They don't want to talk. You know, driver, don't talk to me that much, right? Or maybe they like to talk. Great. Let's have some great conversation while you get me from, from point A to point B. How do they like the temperature? Do they want it hot? Do they want it cold? They're going to tell you exactly what the temperature is that they want, and the driver's going to show up with that the car at that temperature. They're going to also be able to choose what kind of music do they want. They don't want to listen to rock and roll. They don't want to listen to classical. They don't want to listen to some hip-hop, some R&B, whatever. So this way, when they get in the car, the car is set up the way they want it to be, and they're excited because that's their vibe, and they're so, super cool. But then we also have some security measures. And I want to come to this next slide and talk to, talk about girl power because safety is beyond important to us at Vibe Rides. It's so critical. We want to make sure that people get where they're going and they get there safely. And so one of the things that we've introduced is a powerful concept called girl power. And, and girl power, we've tested this concept. Everybody just absolutely loves the idea of it because what it means is that, let's suppose that you're, you're a woman and you've been out with your friends, right? Because quarantine is over and now you can go out again. So you're out with your friends and it's a late night and you need to get a, a ride home. Well, you might not want some creepy dude picking you up. So here's what you can do. You can take, grab your Vibe app, you can request your ride and you can say, press the girl power button and a female driver will pick you up, okay? Let's, how about another scenario? Let's suppose you're a female driver and you're doing night, you know, evening pickups. Again, for your safety, you may want to click the girl power button and you will only get female riders as customers. So that's a super powerful concept uh, that everybody loves that. The embrace for that is absolutely huge. Uh, we also have the safety alert feature where if anything goes wrong with your ride, uh, your, your people that are, are watching for you can uh, be notified. Um, route tracking. What that does is allows the people who care for you to, to see your ride. You can share your ride with another person and say, hey, I'm, I'm starting my ride now. And they can actually watch and make sure you get to where you're going safely. And also, we work on a first name basis only. So the people, you know, riders and, and drivers are, or riders and drivers are protected by not having their personal information shared uh, in a way that could be abused. Now we have our reward program that's super exciting. Our riders love this. Um, as riders ride with us, there's loyalty. So the more rides they complete, 
they get different levels, they get user benefits, they get to share the vibe and get, uh, and get paid specifically free rides uh, in the beginning. Um, and also because of our uh, Vibe Rides affiliation with iBoomerang and travel partners, we can offer exclusive travel benefits to our riders. So Vibe Rides is very, very cool uh, and it, uh, as a new kid on the block. But then let's start talking about driving. Okay, so driving gets you into this concept called the drive share. And the drive share is a concept of we're taking the revenue associated with each drive and we're sharing it with the people who are helping us build the company. It hasn't been done before. See, you may have helped build the other ride share companies. You may have helped build many different social media platforms, the ones that you scroll all day, you've recommended to your friends and they came on, they didn't give you anything, but they're making money because your friends are on there. They're making money because your friends are using their ride share services and they're not giving you anything. Maybe when you recommend it as a driver, you recommended other people to come drive. Maybe you got a, a one-time bonus, right? But here's, uh, we're gonna do it a totally different way. So there's three ways that you can earn money with Vi. That's why we call it D3, okay? Because there's three ways. So you can earn money when you drive, okay? I remember that, that's active income. So you drive, you make money, we'll go through that in a second, but you can also earn money when other people drive. Now, all of our rideshare drivers who are watching said, what? I've never even heard of that concept. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about that and you can actually refer customers who download our app and become Vibe Rides customers and get paid when those customers take rides, even when they're not riding with you. I really hope I have your full attention right now because this has not been done in Rideshare. Okay, so now let's talk about drive. Okay, we talked about ride, we talked about drive. And remember, I call drive, just drive, right? So. Now what that means is that you're now moving into the S quadrant, you are self-employed as a driver. And when you drive and you get people, products and services, you help us do that, and you get them from point A to point B, you can earn up to 75%. Now what you're gonna earn 75% of, you're gonna earn 75% of the distance and the time. And by the way, it goes to 75 after your first 50 rides in a month, but prior to that, you get 70, okay? And that's pretty common. Now, uh, why do we pay only on the distance and time? Because we can't pay you on the taxes and the tolls and all that other stuff, right? So the part that we can share, you get 75, 70 or 75% of it. Now, let's show you how to make $5,000 a month driving. First, it starts with you being able to make $250 a day. This is driving. 20 days a month, that's five days a week, averaging 17 rides a day at $15 a ride. And $15 is the industry average for each ride. So if you just did that 17 rides a day, five days a week, that, that could yield you about $5,000 a month, of course. And that's outside of the Vibe Ride fee, taxes, tolls, et cetera. So this could be a nice business. $5,000 a month could be some great money for lots of folks. I'd take an extra $5,000 a month. Who wouldn't, right? There's no such thing as too much money. Now let's get into, you know, and, and so that was drive. It's pretty simple. You drive, you make money. Okay. That's why I call it just drive. But now let's talk about overdrive. Overdrive puts you in the B quadrant. This is super exciting. And I hope that you lean forward right now pay even double attention to what I'm going to share with you. We're going to show you how you can have passive income by participating in the Vibrides Overdrive program. This is where now you don't just earn money when you drive. You also earn money when other people drive. You can recruit drivers, build your own fleet, and get paid when they drive. You can recruit riders, build your own customer base and get paid when they ride and they don't even have to be riding with you. This is a powerful concept. So let's take, let's take a look at how this could work with riders. 
let's suppose you personally refer 10 riders to vibe rides okay now one of the incentives that we'll be offering is introduce five other customers and you get a free ride so let's suppose that all 10 of your riders did that well now you have 50 riders now the customers don't have customers so those those additional 50 that the 10 got they count as your customers they count as your riders okay so what are those 50 going to do the same thing as the 10 they're going to refer their friends and and get a free ride so that now brings you another 250 riders so altogether now you've got 310 riders in your personal customer base and let's suppose that they do the industry average which is 50 dollars a month of rides mind you not necessarily riding with you riding with any vibe drivers well, that adds up to $15,500 at 3%, which is what you would get paid every time they take a ride. That's $465 extra per month coming to you or an extra $5,580 a year coming to you, regardless of whether you drove those people or not. This is revolutionary. All right, this opportunity doesn't exist anywhere else. Okay, and of course, disclaimer, this is an example. All right, but this is exactly based on the way things are structured. If this is what you did, this is what you can make. Now, let's show you how you can make passive income with drivers. Let's suppose we have you and you refer 10 people who now drive for Vibe Rides. Now, what we don't do is give you this one-time bonus. What we do instead is we give you 3% of their rides, of their drives, I should say, every time they drive. So let's suppose that those 10 drivers each do total fares of $50,000 in a year, okay? And you have 10 of them, so 10 times 50,000 is 500,000. Remember, you earn 3%. So that means that you would earn $15,000 on the rides that those 10 drivers did without you, without your involvement. That's pretty powerful. So if you did both of these 15,000 from this one and you did you know, 5,000 from your riders, that's $20,000 in passive income for the year. And here's my question, what would that, right? Start thinking about the possibilities of what you would do with it. Would you stop there? Would you, do, would you go bigger than that? But even if that's what you did, what doors would that open up for you? What options would that create for you if you could do that? Then there's all sorts of other benefits. So let's put these two side by side and let's compare, okay? So if you do the classic, typical ride share mode, you just drive, which is active income with the other companies, here's kind of the way that looks. You're still on the left side of the cash flow quadrant, right? You're still on that side. The company might pay your startup expenses. And, you know, that's often put out there as a carrot, makes it seem so appealing. You know, at the end of the day, what are we looking at? Probably $70, not more than $100 to be a just driver for any of these companies with your background check and any vehicle inspections that might need there, right? And in exchange for them doing that for you, here's what happens. The most you can earn is 70 to 75% of the time and distance, okay? And then they take the remaining money, 25 to 30% for the company and the shareholders. So that's how the traditional ride share opportunity looks. But now let's compare that to the Vibe Rides D3 overdrive opportunity where you have passive income. Now that puts you on the right side of the cash flow quadrant. It puts you in the B quadrant, the business owner quadrant, because now you're developing a business, you're developing a system, and you have other people contributing to your income. You have these customers that you went out and got. Well, those are your customers. You own those customers for life. You have these drivers that you, you, you introduced to the Vibe Rides program. Well, guess what? That becomes your fleet. You own that fleet for life. You have tax benefits. If you're driving, 
0.5, you know, 57 cents a mile is, is what it is right now, right? And, you know, definitely seek tax advice, but that's legit right there. Um, Seven, you, you have, if you decide to drive, you still have your active income. Nobody said you can't drive yourself. So if you're out there driving, you're going to make 70, 75% for driving. But guess what else happens? We've got 12% that we're taking from every ride and we're putting it into the drive share to share with all the people who are in the overdrive program. And here's what we want you to know. Not only do you have the opportunity to earn on the drivers and the riders that you personally introduced, you, you also can build a team and override all of the riders and drivers that they introduce. And here's what we keep for the company. We keep 18%. There you go. There's our integrity and transparency. We're keeping 18% to operate the company. And believe me, you want the company to be healthy. You want the company to be strong because without the company, there's no opportunity, right? So that's how that goes, guys. And that's revolutionary. You've never seen this before. There's, there's not another opportunity where a rideshare company is saying, hey, help us build the company. We're going to give you a piece of it for life. We're going to pay you on the part that you contribute for life, whether you drive or not. That's pretty exciting. So here's what you want to do. I think that's inf enough information. It's enough information for me uh, as a businessman. I'm a, you know, prior to you to this, I've been a business development professional. This model makes a tremendous amount of sense. It's super accessible for absolutely everyone. So let's get you started. First, how do you get started as a rider? Download our app. Go to the Apple Store. Go to the Google Play Store. Search for Vibe Rides. Download the rider app. Fill out your profile, request a ride, you're good to go. How do you become a driver? Do the very same thing, download the driver app, okay? Now, if you were invited to see this presentation by someone, they're gonna give you a referral code so that the two of you can be connected. Make sure you use their referral code uh, as part of, your, uh, uh, part of your profile building. Uh, process. Okay. Very simple. It won't slow you down. And uh, it's cool for the person who invited you. All right. But what if you want to do overdrive? Well, overdrive is a business. So we're going to show you how you start the overdrive business with Vibe Rides. It's 24, I'm sorry, 44, 49.95. A little tongue tied this morning. 49.95 for your business registration. That's a one-time fee. And $200 for your overdrive pack. In addition to that, you have an ongoing monthly subscription of $99.95 to contribute to the platform that's going to keep track of your business. Now, what do you get for doing that? We're going to uh, reimburse you for your background check uh, when you become a driver. We're going to reimburse you for your vehicle inspection when you become a driver. Um, and you can earn up to 75% when you drive. You know, 75% happens after your first 50 rides every month. It's 70% before that. You get 100 boomerangs. And a boomerang is how you invite other drivers, okay? And I want to make this clear. If you choose to just drive, you cannot invite other drivers. And you can't invite riders. Inviting drivers, inviting riders, and getting paid for it is reserved for people who participate in the overdrive program, okay? So you get boomerangs. That's how you send out that referral code to people that connects your riders and connects your drivers with you so that we know that we're supposed to pay you on it every time they take a ride, okay? You get access to our Vibe fleet management system, sophisticated technology. You can work it on your smartphone or your computer and keep track of all of your drivers, all of your customers, your own business, et cetera. And uh, that's how that works. Now, if you enroll three overdrive ambassadors, if you bring three other overdrive ambassadors who join our program, We'll reduce that $99.95 to $49.95 for you, okay? So that said, if you were invited here by someone, you can get back with them, and they will review that information with you. But folks, this is a powerful way. You get a chance to choose your vibe, not just in how you participate in Vibe Rides and getting started at VibeOverdrive.com, but you get to choose your vibe in life. You get to be in control. You get to be... You get to, to now say, hey, this is when I work, this is when I don't work. And if you, get, if you become part of our overdrive program and you build a fleet and you build a fleet of, uh, a base of riders, you can get paid when you're working 
and when you're not working. And now we get to welcome you to that B quadrant. So folks, this is a revolutionary uh, opportunity. That's what this time of life is about. New opportunities that frankly didn't exist before that other people didn't think of that take things to a next level. And so we just want to, uh, I want to be the first person to welcome you to our Vibe Rides family, to our Vibe Rides Overdrive program. And I want to encourage you to get started right away during this time so that you can be part of the Vibe Rides explosion. Scott, thank you for letting me be the one to share this with everybody today. It was an honor. It was a privilege. And I want to turn things back over to you, our Executive Vice President of Vibe Rides. Hey, thanks, T. Gray. Great presentation, and thanks for doing that for everybody here at Vibe Rides today.